This is the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. Is it the new king of 3D printing and should you be buying one? We're Play Conveyor and in this video we're going to be taking you on our journey from unboxing the printer <gasps> It's loose! To setting it up So there's a problem with calibration Oh god And then on to the ultimate fight to the death The Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon versus the reigning king of 3D printing The Prusa Mark 3S now instead of just giving you a usual unboxing video, we wanted to show you our genuine first impressions on unboxing and setting up this printer for the very first time and what you can expect when you get one. As well as any issues that come across along the way, even if they're being caused by us. Um, how? Uh, bad idea. It still feels like a bad idea. Oh. That is premium, let's be honest. That is premium. Oh. <gasps> it's loose! Back. That's, I mean, that's pretty in there, pretty tight. Hey, yeah, remove the screws as pictured. Right. Ugh. Don't get my bolts, but. <laughs> there we go. Oh, careful, stop. That's nice. What is it? I don't know. Oh, There's screws falling out here. It's not even a screw, it's like some rubber. Wow. We should know what these are. Print in five minutes, that's why it is. Look at this. Got a light. Hasn't it got a camera as well? Oh, yeah. There's a camera. <gasps> Hold on, you haven't plugged in the touch screen. What do you mean? So there's a problem with calibration. Oh god. Do you reckon it's because it's on the car? So we've had to make a little change of scenery. We've actually put it on a flat we've surface. We've put it on a flat surface. Which may have been an issue. Calibrating the light on Done it, it's the home of the tool head. Hold on, let's see how long a bench it takes. 24 minutes. At this point, we needed to take the printer to our workshop to get it properly fired up. But so far, the printer was like nothing else we had unboxed before. We're used to printers you have to assemble piece by piece by piece. And whilst a bit of tinkering's nice, so far, this was a really nice experience. Apply evenly on a cleaned build plate before printing and wash the plate after printing is completed. All right then. But I mean, this just doesn't look right at all. This just feels just goes against everything I've ever been taught. What have we been taught? Not a lot, really. Just don't glue stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stop you there. I wanted to touch on the glue stick issue, as I know it's been a bit of a sticking point in the 3D printing world. Bamboo Labs specifically state that when using the cool plate, glue stick should be applied. Now, we have since tested the cool plate with no glue stick and the adhesion was way too much and it ripped the bottom of one of our prints completely off. So, whatever you do, make sure you slather him up before you put him in. Let's do the benchy. Sorry, old friend. You look really old fashioned now. <laughs> Inspecting the first layer. No way, it's put the laser over the first layer. Wow, that is fast. Look at that! That is one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen. I'm not even joking, go and look in there. Look at the speed! That was possibly the most impressive thing I've ever seen. It was mental, the speed. Look at the finish on that. There's zero stringing. It doesn't bridge perfectly there. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. At this point, it has only taken us one hour to unbox, set up, and print a benchy on this printer. 
But now it's time for the real test. We're putting our new Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon up against our old faithful 3D printer, the Prusa Mark 3S. The Prusa Mark 3S comes with a really impressive reputation and has won 3D Printer of the Year for the last four years running and is widely regarded as probably one of the most reliable printers on the market. But the X1 Carbon has all the hardware inside to mean that reputation is in real danger. It's got carbon rails, a welded steel chassis, a 40 watt ceramic heater and a big old fan in there. All of this is on top of a 500 millimeters per second velocity, which Bamboo Lab are claiming can cut your print times in half. Now to make this test as fair as possible, we're going to be sticking by three main rules. Rule number one is subscribe to Play Conveyor. We're a new channel and we would really appreciate any support you can give us. So if you punch the subscribe button and punch like below on this video, we'd really appreciate that. Rule number two is we will be using the same model on both printers. Our very own rocket design, which is print in place and requires no support. So it's perfect for the test. And rule three, this test will focus on final quality as well as speed. We've got to give the Prusa some sort of fighting chance in this one. Before we could get started with the test, we headed out to our workshop to get everything set up. And we were greeted with a major setback. An overnight print on the Prusa had ended in a completely clogged extruder, meaning a full hour of disassembling, cleaning and putting back together before we could even begin. Not a great start for the reliable Prusa. Nevertheless, now we had both printers up and running, it was time to press print. One minute in and the Prusa has started off very strong, mainly because its preparation time is so much quicker than the Bamboo Labs, but I've got a feeling that's about to change. Right, so we are 27 minutes in now and I'm in to check up what's going on. As you can see, the Prusa has made a fairly good start chugging away, but the Bamboo Lab has easily made up the preparation time already and is storming into the leap. At the moment, quality on both models also looking pretty good, to be fair. We are about an hour into the test now, and as you can see in the Bamboo Lab, the print is pretty much starting to look like a rocket. But the Prusa is still chugging away on the earlier layers. We are one hour and 43 minutes into the printing race, and the Prusa is... Oh, yeah, not very far along at all, really. The Bamboo Lab, on the other hand, has just run away with it. We've got pretty much a completed rocket, and in a couple of minutes, it'll be ready to take off the bed. So it's 1 hour 45 minutes in, and the Prusa is still chugging away, but the Bamboo Lab is ready to take off the plate and get inside. And while you finish up, I'm going to go and spend some quality time with my new rocket. The Prusa has been going that long, it's now dark outside, but... Oh, no, it's still not done. So finally, the Prusa is just finishing up a whole four hours and 34 minutes later. I'm going to take this inside and compare it to the Bamboo Labs version that finished at least three hours ago now. Now clearly the Bamboo Lab is leagues ahead of the Prusa in terms of speed. We kind of already expected that, but how does the quality compare? Now I've got these two models together, I am shocked. I expected the Bamboo Lab to be far worse quality given how fast it prints compared to the Prusa, but it's actually better. Now don't get me wrong, both these prints came out really nice and all the mechanisms are working. The Prusa Rocket did have a bit of banding you can see there, but I used the standard settings on each slicer, so with a bit of tweaking that can probably be fixed. Now we know there are lots of adjustments that can be made to each printer and slicer software to make them perform differently. And there will either be areas where the Prusa has the edge over the Bamboo Lab. But ultimately, there is only one real winner here. And that is clearly the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. In our opinion, this machine has redefined consumer 3D printing 
and the people at Bamboo Lab have created a printer that is light years ahead of its competition. And in this video we haven't even discussed the Bamboo Lab's main party piece, the AMS Multicolor System. We asked two questions at the beginning of this video. Firstly, should you buy a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon? Well, ultimately that's up to you, but we won't be looking at any other printers currently on the market. Secondly, we asked if the Bamboo Lab was the new king of 3D printing. Well, only time will tell, but for now, this belongs to you. If you've stuck with us till the end, we really appreciate your support. We're a new channel and we really want to bring you the best designs and 3D printing content out there. So if you punch like and punch subscribe below, we'll make sure we bring some more to you soon. 